In this episode of Living Money Smart, I travel coast to coast, teaching, coaching, mentoring, and even expanding. And at the same time, what was once my competitors are now my complementers on board the Money Smart Woman team of PHP Agency. But the most boring thing is receiving a phone call like this. Good afternoon, man. This is Richard Turner down in Atlanta, Georgia, part of Richard Welch's team. I just wanted to thank you for getting me started um, and let you know that last week I did get licensed. I passed my test and um, just wanted to thank, reach out to you and thank you again for helping me go ahead and getting started and uh, seeing some progress by getting licensed. And uh, I hope you're having a blessed day. Thank you. While here in Atlanta, I had to go visit the two biggest companies, the two biggest players right now inside the industry that we're in today, of how they used the model back in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s. Uh, they created a billion dollar company uh, and a multi-million dollar company respectively. And I'm so excited because I've taken the courage ourselves, my wife and I, our team, to take initiative to do the same thing right now in a, in, in a modern era, in a digital world, and where we're going right now in the future of PHP Agency. I'm fired up. What's well, cracking, everybody? Mighty smart guy, Matt Zipala here, hailing to you from Duluth, Georgia, at Primarica headquarters. Here with my man, Richard Wells. Say hi, Rich. Hey, what's happening? And so, when I'm sitting here in front of Primarica, and today, it's what, trading about 87 bucks a share or something like that? It's about 87 bucks a share this morning. It's a publicly traded company. It's worth about close to $4 billion. All because somebody wasn't afraid to do something different. And when I'm thinking about being an entrepreneur, you know, there's tons of companies, especially to, in today in a, in a digital world. And I'm thinking about Facebook and, and MySpace and Friendster. Remember those companies? And that's what we're doing. That's what I'm doing with Richard Welsh and his wife, Monique. That's what we're doing here in Atlanta. We're building our company, PHP Agency, to be the next big story in the financial services, in a, a financial services market. We're the company that's going to be in the next billion dollar company in the, financial services, in the financial services industry with guys like Richard and Monique Welch. So while I was here, here's what I discovered. The guys that were coaching and teaching and mentoring these guys, now they were still talking about stuff that they did 15, 20 years ago. Listen, if you want to be in the game today, if you want to win a championship today, these guys won a championship 15, 20 years ago. Awesome, they did, they did a great job. But these guys want to win a championship today. They want to win financially for the families. They want to win right now in business. And for example, if I'm going to pick a championship team, Right? As much as I love Michael Jordan, but if I'm winning right now in 2017, LeBron James is my first round draft pick. He's my number one pick. It's not gonna be the guy that is the greatest of all time, obviously. But it's not gonna be the guy that's 50 some years old and talk about what he did back in the 90s and 2000s. It's what's relevant today, especially now in a digital world, in a world filled with technology. What can I do today? What's cracking everybody? Money Smart Guy, Matt Zapala here, hailing to you from Johns Creek, Georgia, right here in front of World Financial Group headquarters in Johns Creek, off Johns Creek Parkway. A few things you gotta know about competition. Um, number one, they're gonna do everything they can to keep you from talking to you. So if you're in business, your competition is gonna do everything for your customers, for your brand ambassadors, for the people that you love and care about to tempt them from talking to you. I don't know why, but that's what they do. Uh, number two, they like to expand rumors. And they put rumors that put doubt to put fear, sadly to manipulate, to keep you from uh, talking to uh, the people you're supposed to be talking to, to talk to the people that really will give you uh, actual, factual information. Pastor, Pastor, Pastor Mario, Richie Welsh, man, talking money, talking business, uh, Dave Ramsey and John Maxwell Leadership, right? That's it. Awesome, man. That's correct. Good to be chatting with you this morning. Absolutely. God bless you, God bless you sir. Bless you. Uh, you know, a couple months ago uh, at our convention in Las Vegas, we were at the Caesars Palace. And although not a com direct competitor to me, but a competing organization, a competing firm down the street, their folks, their associates reached out to me. And uh, more specifically, Richard Welch reached out to me and said, Matt, I want to find more about you guys. I hear about you from what other people are saying. So I, I need to really meet you, man, because if I'm going to be in business, if I'm sold out to helping families, if I'm sold out to being an entrepreneur for the rest of my career, I need to make sure I'm wearing the right jersey. I get a message from Richard Welch. He said, Matt, really need to, need to connect with you. Our gala night is done. I'd love to meet with you right after. No problem. We connect, we get to meet each other, I get to meet his wife, she gets to meet my wife, 
we connect, man, it's like, it's like awesome reports. And so, you know what, if I'm gonna be in business and I'm gonna be in Atlanta, I'm gonna do this, I need to make sure I'm doing the right thing for the customer. I need to make sure I'm doing the right thing for my associates and I'm really selling an opportunity. I'm really selling an opportunity for people who want business for themselves, which, which is something that they actually own. Ladies and gentlemen, our A5 entertainment is about to begin. For further details, please refer to your Well, let me paint the picture of what Fast Start School is. From terminology, I understand. It's kind of like a mini boot camp where we teach people that has no military experience before, with no business experience before. We bring them in, we put them on a platform, we teach them terminology, we teach them basic battle skills, we teach them basic uh, fundamentals so therefore they can survive and thrive when they start their own business, when they survive and thrive, when business is their new battlefield. So Diana Joe and Jose Amerlin Gartan invite me to teach at PHP University. And I get to meet a lot of the new people and what's interesting, just like I experienced in Atlanta, a lot of our competitors from a competing company, a lot of their associates are coming on now to PHP University. And I got introduced to Dana Malikin who wrote over $200,000 in business and bottom line, she's about to cash flow in the first 30 days of business with us here at PHP University, over $100,000 of cash flow. And that's what happens when you take courage and step forward in faith in spite of the naysayers, in spite of all the gossip. And that's what Dana Malikin is proven to her naysayers. Getting it done. Ladies and gentlemen, our A5 entertainment is about to begin. For further details, please refer to your after the success of our Cigars, Wealth & Whiskey event a couple months ago, I'm back to this military town to work more specifically, not just with John Mason, who's transitioning into Orlando, but with Tommy Clark and his newest marketing director, a single mom, entrepreneur, Bianca Ruiz. All right, let's pick up this guy, Sapala. That's Paula. Let's go. People ask me, Matt, why are you doing this, man? You're making good money, man. Matter of fact, you're making great money. You're making outstanding money, man. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing all the traveling? Why don't you just hang out with the fam? Why don't you just cut it loose and just hang out? There's a leadership by title. You got the title, you know, President's Council, VP, CEO. But I'm leading towards a leadership of action, a guy that's in the trenches, a servant leader that goes out and helps people, that goes out and inspires people, that, but not who they are, the title is, but what they represent, and that's what I want to be known for. That's my level of leadership. That's my understanding of what I want to be remembered by. We are going to Orlando, baby. Here we okay, come. Thank you. Yep. PHP agency is expanding, baby. They just don't know. So here are the four levels of income. Number one is survival. You're living paycheck to paycheck. A three, four, five hundred dollar problem offsets you, and you got to kick that into a credit card, or you got to kick that into the next month. That sucks. Being in survival phase, and by the way, that can be generation to generation. You can stop that today because there's more to life than that. Number two is status. You know, this is the phase where a lot of people get stuck in because you know we're comfortable, we're making good money. Yeah, you know, you're, you're driving the car that you want to drive. You're in the house and the zip code you want to live in. Uh, your kids are going to the schools to get them the education, but you're stuck in that phase. You're stuck keeping up with the Joneses. And it, matter of fact, one out of ten people making hundred thousand dollars a year are still living paycheck to paycheck back to survival phase. And the third level of income is freedom. You know the saying, more money, more problems, right? Wrong. More money, more options. You know, for example, my wife and I, we've been able to retire both of our parents. You just can't do that with a regular job or a regular business. And the fourth level of income is purpose. Now, this is a very interesting level because imagine where 60% of all of your arguments about money, about not having enough, paycheck to paycheck, uh, not having enough to pay our office rent, our staff and apparel, Imagine all that is eliminated. That's the phase right now I'm talking about. This is purpose. This is having a business that's actually transforming the way people think, feel, manage, and reach towards financial independence. And that's the purpose of the Money Smart Movement team here at Peach Beans. After Jacksonville, I matriculate down to Orlando where I connect with Executive Marketing Director of Peach Bay Agency and fellow co-owner, John Mason. Peach Bay Agency right now is 51% Latino. However, there's a huge influx of Latinos coming into America and it's exciting also to have an active investor with Oscar De La Hoya and Gabriel Brenner and Greg Sherrod investing $10 million to rapidly grow and expand our company. So Peach Bay Agency right now is strategically positioned to meet the growing demand and need of the Latino community in America. You're about to go to lunch with Mace in the place. What's up, what's up? We got new guys we're mentoring. Got his first check, bro. Yeah. Uh, how does it feel? Feels great. Tell everybody who you are, man. Nick Folson from Orlando. In the house, baby. Yeah. Real estate uh, turned financial entrepreneur. Right. You crazy guy, you. <laughs> 
So Mason puts me on the phone on FaceTime with a guy in Lafayette, Louisiana that just got recruited by uh, Sean, Sean David. David. He shows him our compensation. He shows him how we coach and mentor entrepreneurs. And his biggest year was 2010. Makes over 400, 500 thousand dollars a year. But every year thereafter has been declining. Here's why: Oftentimes, most companies, when they put you in their corporate box, corporate structure, they incentivize themselves to to earn income off your back. In other words, you build a team, you build a system. But if you're not in control of it, they can always move um, move your teams and replace you with other folks. So, in other words, he's built teams, right? He said, how many teams? Built at least six guys like himself. He's built six replacements that are, that are as good as him, and, and, they, when, and they've left him. And they left, and he gets nothing for that. So he built yeah. the company, but he got nothing for it in return. So you always want to be in a position where you're always in control of building your business, building your distribution. John Mason introduces me to Marvin in the Del Valle, who was at a competing company, one of the top leaders over there of Florida. They've resigned over there and came over to PHP Agency, setting up shop. We're very excited to see them come on board and doing some big things here at PHP Agency. And the next day, I'm in Miami. <laughs> the next day, I'm in Miami with Tony Martinez and Lady Reyes, as well as Brittany Palayas. I'm teaching them three basic things, teaching the new, new folks three basic things. Number one, basic phone skills. Number two, recruiting interview skills. And number three, basic team building skills to help the newest guy get some early success. Regardless of coast to coast, Florida, Boston, Texas, California, it doesn't matter. The competition has been watching us. Matter of fact, they're still watching us right now. And the proof is in the pudding. The proof is this. Are you gonna stick with the decision? Are you gonna stick to your game plan? Is there gossip, the rumors, their low level attacks, is it gonna get you off your, off your game? And if it is, then you don't, you don't deserve to be in a position anyway. But if you stick with your decision, you say, you know what, I'm gonna be financially free. I'm gonna live my life on purpose. And people see that, and people see you following through, then you're gonna naturally influence them because you're saying, you know what, we can't get them off the track. They're doing a whole lot better than what they thought, than we thought they would. And that influences them. And that's very attractive to a lot of people subconsciously. And so our competitors say, you know what, that last three, four, five, six months, they're now starting to come on board to PHP. They're now starting to come on board to understand our platform. They're now starting to come on board to our message. Wow, we really do have a movement of entrepreneurship in America today.